the second um, trig application or sign regression, whatever, um, problem that I want to look at is kind of with this harmonic motion. And so we're looking at, in this case, what we've, we've got a buoy that's, that's um, oscillating in the water. So it's as the, the waves come and go, the, the buoy goes, um, and here it is what they're calling equilibrium, then it goes down, and then it comes back, you know, hits the equilibrium again, and it goes back up. It's just kind of this buoy, this buoy mo um, movement. So um, we're going to write an equation here. It says write an equation that describes um, where the high point corresponds to time t equals zero. So I'm going to, it's saying its high point is here. I can call this the equilibrium. It goes to here, it goes back to here, and it comes back something like that. If you notice, do, 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 do. I could either make this a, a sine graph um, that's been shifted to this, oh, or shifted, maybe I could say this. If it's shifted here, it's now negative. Um, so ignore that. It could be shifted to this one, whatever this point is right here. Then that's a lovely sine curve. Um, but I'm lazy. I mean efficient. If they just say write the equation, I might as well make it cosine since it's starting at the top, and that looks a whole lot like cosine. Um, so what did they tell us? It moves a total of 3.5 feet from its high point to its low point. So this total distance from here, from the very top to the very bottom is 3.5. Um, so that means, what's half of 3.5? Oh, my goodness. Um, 175. So 1.75. So this would be a positive 1.75, and this would be a negative 1.75. Um, okay, so then they're telling us it's um, the buoy moves a total of 3.5 feet from its high point to its low point and returns to its high point every 10 seconds. Okay, so this would be at time 0. This right here would be at time 10. So that tells us that the period um, is equal to 10, but we know that the period is also equal um, to 2 pi over b, since the, the, the parent function period of cosine is 2 pi. So if I have 10 is equal to 2 pi over b, I have 10b equals 2 pi. That's a b, not a 6. Um, so then I have b is equal to pi over 5. So um, I can, they, they don't tell us um, they don't tell us where we're starting, or we could shift this up and down, left and right. They're just saying write an equation. There are many ways to interpret it, and what I'd be looking for is does your equation match the graph that you give? Um, so what I would say here is that the amplitude is now going to be 1.75. We did a cosine graph that has a period of pi over 5 times x, and I didn't shift it left, right, up, or down, and I'm done. So once again, not the only correct answer, but it works.